of the scientific method is reproducibility. That when an experiment is repeated under the same conditions, the same result is observed. Six years ago, I was studying how breast cancer spreads, and I was excited about a newly published breakthrough result. I wanted to try and build upon that result in my own lab to develop a new drug to prevent breast cancer metastasis. However, when I tried to repeat the published breakthrough results in my own lab, I couldn't do it. And as I asked around, I realized that this is very common. More than 70% of scientists that are surveyed said that they could not repeat published results in their own laboratories. The biopharmaceutical companies Amgen and Bayer and the National Institutes of Health also found that more than 70% of the studies that they attempted to reproduce could not be repeated. So why is this? The simple answer is that the current incentive system rewards scientists for being the first to publish scientific breakthroughs. It does not reward them for reproducing and confirming previously published results. And even if a scientist like me tries and fails to reproduce a potentially breakthrough result, it's very difficult to publish this. This is a comment I received from a journal editor when I submitted a replication study for publication. This is a huge problem, because published breakthroughs are what scientists and companies and research institutes around the world use as the basis for developing new drugs to cure diseases. If these published breakthroughs are not reproducible, it's no wonder that more than 80% of potential new drugs fail during human clinical testing. For example, in the field of ALS, all human clinical trials based on published breakthrough results have failed. In some instances, they even harmed the patients participating. To understand what was going wrong, the ALS Therapy Development Institute attempted to reproduce all of the published breakthrough results in this field and found that they could not reproduce any of the original findings. These confirmatory studies could have prevented the wasted resources and human suffering invested in these failed clinical trials. That's why I left academia and started the Reproducibility Initiative, a system for replicating key experimental results quickly and cost-effectively to enable us to identify and reward reproducible research. Our largest project is a collaboration between Science Exchange and the Center for Open Science to replicate the key experimental results from published breakthrough cancer biology studies. The success of this project has led the Prostate Cancer Foundation and Gates Foundation to begin investing in replication studies to confirm potentially breakthrough results that they have funded. Now we ask all scientific funders and all of you watching this talk that care about the integrity of scientific progress to incentivize reproducibility by funding replication studies. We cannot afford to waste the limited time and resources we have. We need reproducibility to restore our faith in science. Thank you very much.